Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. My name is Ryan. This is my Raspberry Pi Sprout. Uh, this is another episode of Sprout Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up something called an Apache Tomcat web server. Uh, this is if you want to host a website uh, or a web server on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's super easy, it's free, and uh, it's all open source, which is really great. So uh, let's get into it. Hopefully you're in the right place. Uh, I'll be following along this tutorial uh, as usual. It's from March 27th, 2021. So uh, it's a little out of date, but all in all, it's pretty good. We're gonna be doing Tomcat 10. I'll be changing a few things here and there and uh, we'll get started if I ever stop talking. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do, of course, is uh, run sudo apt update just to make sure everything is um, up to date, all of our packages. Okay, and I believe I'm good. Great, if you're not, you can run sudo apt upgrade. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I don't need to. Uh, next, we need to uh, install Java environment. Um, I did a video on how to install or to set up your Java environment, um, but you can just run this uh, command here that should install the most recent version uh, of JDK, I think. Um, if I just do Java, well, let's let's run it. Let's see what happens. Uh, you can see that um, I'm up to date, I hope. Uh, so let's see, we'll do that, and um, okay, it's reading packages. Cool, so it's saying default JDK is already the newest version, um, and it apparently I have something here that I don't need, um, so I'll remove that later. Uh, you can also just do java-version, and it'll show you what you have. This one is telling me java-version. Um, cool, I'm running 17. Uh, it appears we need eight or higher, so we're definitely fine here. Okay, so let's keep going. Next, we wanna add a Tomcat user. Um, as they say, it's recommended we have a Tomcat user for Tomcat services. Um, I believe this is a security thing. You don't wanna run everything as root all the time. So we're gonna clear that and we're going to uh, just go ahead and copy and paste this here. Just save some time, press enter. Uh, and you can see we also created a directory called Tomcat. Uh, so if we go cd opt um, and we do ls, you'll see some other things here. Uh, which are mine, but now we have this directory Tomcat, but I believe there's nothing in it. Let's check. Yes, there's nothing in it yet, which is fine. Uh, let's CD back to here to opt. Uh, and then we are going to what we're going to CD. Let's go back to our home directory here. Uh, we're going to install, download and install Tomcat 10. So I've got the official portal here. Um, again, this is in the description below. You just go ahead and scroll down here. Um, I'm gonna copy this, uh, the tar.gz, and I'm gonna do sudo wget, and then there's our um, 10.0, what is it, 10.0.14 as of the time of this video. Pretty quick, quick download. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to untar it into our Tomcat directory. So this is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to open up my little notepad and I'm going to change this zero to, oh, whoops, what is it? No, I want to change the four to a 14 because remember we're doing the most recent version. Okay, so we're going to do sudo, uh, what, what am, what am I doing here? Yes, okay, there we go. So copy that, and we're gonna do this. Okay, and it just you just saw a bunch of uh, lines there. Uh, that's just untarring the file or unzipping the file into the Tomcat directory. So now if we change to the Tomcat directory, uh, now it has stuff in it, which is really cool. Okay, uh, next we want to give permissions to use your Tomcat. Um, so we're gonna do that just again, quick copy and paste, change owner. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna, I believe, make some things executable. I'm actually not sure what this one does, but it works for me. Uh, next, we are going to configure our user, Tomcat user, uh, in the users.xml file. So let me clear this. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, later on we're gonna be using a, like we're gonna open a new tab and um, access the what's called the web manager. So we can upload files to our web server with like a GUI interface. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, because we're in the Tomcat directory, we're gonna do sudo nano. And I'm running nano, uh, this one is running vi, which is another uh, command for writing things in uh, Debian systems, or I believe that's what Raspberry Pi is, Debian system. 
Uh, I just use nano because it's what I'm familiar with. So if you like VI, cool. Uh, we're gonna do nano, and again, we're in the Tomcat directory already. So we're gonna do, um, uh, let's see, conf, uh, and then Tomcat users.xml. Let's see if that works. Yep. So we'll scroll down here and um, what we want to do is give ourselves a login ID and uh, password. So you can see here uh, to configure Tomcat users, edit the file and add following lines just before Tomcat users section. Okay. So we are going to, um, I believe we want to copy and paste this bit here. And actually I have this open in another tab um, because I was having trouble with this. Hello, little pictures of Tomcat. Uh, this one worked for me. So again, I'll link this in the description below. They're telling us to do the same thing, but just use uh, these here. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste that and go back here. And like they said, we're gonna go above the Tomcat users uh, part and we are going to what? Okay, manager GUI, so there's that. Um, and then username, we are going to change to manager. And I believe this can be anything you want. Uh, and we're gonna change the word password Tomcat to what? We're gonna change it to secret, okay? Uh, I do not recommend these horrible usernames and passwords, but it's just for this video, right? So manager and secret, that should be good, okay? So we're gonna do uh, control X for save, press Y, press enter, cool. So hopefully that works, we'll come back to it later. Uh, and I think it also wants us to do admin GUI. So maybe we should do that as well. Um, well, let's see if it works or not. Um, I'm gonna bet that it does. Okay, next we wanna do uh, allow remote access of Tomcat. Uh, I guess this is if you're not on your local host, you want to edit things from, I don't know, down the street or from another country. Uh, you can do that, which is pretty neat. So we just navigate to this uh, context.xml file. So we're gonna do uh, what we're already in Tomcats. We're gonna do CD, web apps, manager, meta inf, context.xml. Oops, not CD, we want a nano, All right? So sudo nano, I'm so used to doing CD. Uh, and it wants us to comment out, oops, okay, don't do that. It wants us to comment out uh, this section here. Uh, so you can see they have a little picture there as well. So we're just going to do this little carrot, uh, or sideways carrot is what I call it, I guess, uh, like this. And then we will do that and like that. Cool. Now the uh, file will not read this part because it's commented out. Okay. Okay. So save and close the file, control X, Y, enter. Uh, and we'll do the same thing for the host manager directory as well. Okay. So I'm just going to press up here and then we'll do host manager. Okay. And again, we're just going to comment out this bit here. Okay. Boom. And then like this. Great. Control X, enter. Okay. And also, uh, this tutorial does not mention this part, but I'm going to because we're messing with host manager areas. Uh, we want to change the upload file size for our uh, eventual uh, website files that we upload to this web server. So, um, I hope in a future video I will cover how to do that. But first things first, we're gonna start here. So they limit you to 50 MB, uh, which is not very much in my opinion. So we're gonna change that. Uh, so we want to, uh, again, we're gonna do sudo nano, uh, web apps, manager, manager, uh, web inf, web.xml. And if we scroll down to here, uh, you can see 50 MB max. Okay, in my opinion, that's way too small. Uh, so we're going to change that to five gigabytes. Uh, maybe that's too big, but it's a nice safe amount. Uh, my website has a lot of photos, so um, the file size is quite large. I think it's like three gigs. So we change the max file size, the max request size. Um, this file size threshold should be zero. Um, I think that, I mean, it works for me. I'm not quite sure if it should be like one or two or something, but zero works. So control X, Y, enter. Okay, and we can uh, get back to this. So now we're gonna set up a systemd unit. Um, if you don't wanna do this part, you can skip ahead. Uh, this is just kind of good system admin practice where 
uh, if your Raspberry Pi loses power or internet for some short period of time, the uh, Raspberry Pi will start your web server on boot, which saves you time and work. So this is worth it in my opinion. Uh, and I covered this in another video for a Minecraft server, so now we can do it for a web server. Uh, okay, so we are going to CD home, and then we're going to do uh, sudo nano etc system d system, and then we're going to call this tomcat.service. Okay, and this is really easy. We just copy and paste uh, what they have here. Okay, boom. Uh, and make sure you change this line here. This caused me a huge headache. Um, you change this line here to what your JDK um, directory is. So maybe you're like, what, Ryan, what are you talking about? So let me just show you real quick. I'm going to open a new tab here. Um, so we, if we CD to opt, which is where my Java directory is, see, this is my Java directory, JDK 17.0.1. I will link this system D Java environment to my Java directory. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, so if you followed the tutorial in this video without changing anything, then this would be right. But uh, mine is going to be opt dash, uh, what is it? Let's copy and paste it to make sure we don't mess it up. JDK dot, JDK, uh, bum, 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 17.0.1. Cool. Uh, and I believe we need a parentheses at the end of it as well, because these other ones do. So if this isn't working for you and it's giving you some errors about like, where's your Java? Um, just make sure your Java environment is pointed to the correct directory, okay? Uh, otherwise, this looks pretty good. Um, and it has these nifty little uh, bash scripts already written into the program, which is awesome. So we'll just do control X, Y, enter, uh, and then we'll move on. Okay, so now we're gonna load the system D uh, service. So uh, let's do sudo system ctl daemon reload. That kind of reloads our system D scripts. Uh, or not scripts, but uh, what, do, what do they call these? Uh, system D unit. Yeah, whatever. Don't crucify me in the comments, please, for using the wrong terminology. Uh, ctl, uh, and then we're going to do start tomcat dot service is that right okay nothing backfired so that's great and just to see if it's running we'll do sudo system ctl status tomcat dot service cool and it's running that's really really great so now we have a system d service for our tomcat web server uh, which means it'll always be running whether uh, we forget about it or the power goes out or something like this cool um and we should enable it as well, that's right. So we'll control C out of here. Um, we'll do what? We'll do sudo systemctl enable tomcat. Cool, so it should be enabled now. Uh, this one, I, I'm not sure. I, I was having trouble with this one. Uh, so if I do, for example, sudo ufw allow 8080 tcp, um, that didn't work for me, but I was able to make this work without it. So it, it seems if you've got a firewall going and um, on your Debian 10, which you shouldn't if it's on Raspberry Pi, unless you like explicitly installed it on there, uh, it may block your 8080 port, which is what web servers, I believe, default uh, point to. So uh, we'll just skip that part. I don't think we need it. So if we did everything correctly, we can now access our GUI interface. Remember, we set up our uh, password and login earlier. Uh, so what we want to do is um, we want to do what? We want to open a new tab. And you can see all of my uh, <laughs> tabs here. I might blur that out. Uh, we're going to do, and you can see my search history. Wow. OK, uh, let's do what? Um, our local IP, which also um, I will probably blur out. Uh, this will be the IP of your Raspberry Pi. Um, if you don't know how to set up a static IP, then I've got another video for that, but this is my static IP at port 8080. So let's press enter. And there we go. Let me make this a little bit bigger uh, so you can see it in all its glory. This is the um, Tomcat uh, web server manager, which means we've set up a web server, which is really awesome. 
Uh, now we want to go to the Manager app, and this is the uh, sort of moment of truth. If we set up our uh, thing right, I think we did Manager, and then our password was Secret. Oh, cool, and it worked. Okay, so now we're in. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I will do another video in the future on how to actually upload a um, what we call a .war file, which is what I use. Um, and it works really well for me. Um, maybe we can do that. Let's. I mean, let's just do it. Why not? And uh, I will cover the specifics of this .war file later. Um, so here it is, my .war file, and hopefully I can blur this other stuff out. But maybe it's not important. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do deploy. Let's see how long it takes. Hopefully it doesn't take very long uh, to do this. But depending on the size of your uh, file, it may take some time, like mine is doing. So I may speed this up, or I may just keep talking nervously to see which one is better. And we'll probably just speed this up in the video. Cool. Okay, so um, we got this message that says, okay, very nice of them. Uh, and there is our file, uh, mine is called F1. So if we click it, uh, that should redirect us to the uploaded file on our local host, uh, which is really, really awesome. And here it is, this is my website. Um, great, so you can see like, these are all my little bits. Um, the, this is my home screen, and this is a website on a web server in my apartment, which is really awesome. And just to show you that it's not just this front page, um, we can like go to this page here, um, and you'll see that it's able to direct all through the file, which is awesome. These are all my photos. Uh, like I said, it's a really big file because I have so many photos. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, again, check out my other videos, and... Uh, like and subscribe, I guess. That's what they say. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Oh, and also, uh, <laughs> of course, uh, look at another video of mine for um, how to actually make one of these uh, war files uh, using something called NetBeans, or I may use another program. I'm not sure. Okay, I've talked enough. I'm uh, talking on so long.